In Tampa this week, police made few arrests at the Republican convention. Demonstrations were largely peaceful despite warnings of anarchist threats from the FBI and Homeland Security. Anarchists in Tampa say they're being unfairly labeled and this week conducted a community cleanup to try to change public opinion. FSRN's Janelle Irwin has more. Tampa City officials often refer to protesters who pose a threat as anarchists. Some media outlets use the term to describe protesters who carry out property destruction. Occupy Tampa activist Bailey Riley thinks people are misinformed about anarchist philosophies. Really, it just means without authority. It means the mentality itself is nobody can rule my life better than me. And though, therefore, you know, by doing good for yourself, you're doing good for the community because you're healthy, the community's healthy, you're helping one another by being healthy yourself. Um, so it's really, it's really based upon... There are no, there's no authority figures because everybody is their own authority figure. Riley joined other Occupy members, including Pepe Cavanis, to get to work in the neighborhood. They took to the streets not to protest, but to clean up garbage, make minor repairs to blemishes on some of the old brick buildings in the area, and continue work on a community garden. Cavanis, a gardener, donated a rain barrel and seeds to the project. It's important to give back to the community, to let them know that we care, that uh, we're here for them. Uh, we're not just coming to town to party and live it up. But we're actually concerned and are willing to do something about it. We're willing to put our money where our mouth is. That's something activists say the local government hasn't done. Jimmy Dunson helped organize the cleanup effort. He's angry about a $50 million grant given to Tampa for security efforts during the Republican convention. Tampa police used it to pay for extra officers, surveillance equipment, and weapons. Dunson said the money could have been used more productively because the massive arrests and chaotic behavior police used to justify the expenditures just haven't happened. We're showing that, you know, with the $50 million they spent on the helicopters, on the, on the police knocking on our doors, on the spy cameras, they could have been doing stuff like this. Activists had planned to reach out to members of the community to make repairs or help with yard work, but many residents declined the help. Instead, the group will be cleaning the park and surrounding public areas. They have an agreement with the park's owner, Tampa businessman Joe Redner, to vacate sometime in September. Janelle Irwin, FSRN, Tampa.